welcome back. So just to recap, what we're doing today is we're piping succulents onto cupcakes and onto a small um, cake, a small sort of semi-naked cake. Now, a few couple of weeks ago, when I was piping flowers, a couple of people were asking, what are couplers? You keep saying you're using couplers. What are they? Um, and what, what do they do? So this here is a coupler. So it's basically a little holder to put the nozzle in and it means that you can change nozzles without having to change the colour in your piping bag. So it's really, really easy. Excuse the rustling. Actually, before we go any further, could you please just hit the share button and share this with all your pals because it'd be such a shame if they missed it. They can watch it again, but you know what I mean, that'd be a good idea. So anyway, I've put the, the big part of the coupler inside the piping bag and I'm just snipping off the end. Now, I like to just take the, the top bit um, out of the, like let that poke out the end of the piping bag and leave the wee screwy bit inside it. You then put your nozzle that you're using inside the bottom bit and screw it together. Now I'm going to prepare this for um, one of the flowers that I'm doing. I'm not going to necessarily use right now but I'm going to prepare it anyway. Sorry about that. So this, the flower that I'm going to be doing is green with a red edge and what I want to do is this is a 104 nozzle that I've got and I want to put the red because of red just going to be the very edge of it I want to put the the red stripe up um, where the narrow end of the, the narrow part of the nozzle is and what I normally do is try and line that up with the crease in the bag or the seam in the bag so I'm just going to turn this around so that it's the seam. It's just so that it keeps me right for when I'm piping. Let me turn this round. There we go. Put that back in. As you can see, I'm using a very fancy glass here to. Here's my nice spatula. This will do fine. So I want to put a stripe of red along the inside of the bag. It, it doesn't need to be far too precise um, but it's just so that when you see the rest in yeah, then you get the contrast, you get the edge. Right, I'm going to put that in the other cameras just so, so we can see. Yeah, can you see that there? Not too far back. <laughs> so no, that's a no. So that's a no. That's okay. a no. <laughs> okay. It's too close up. <laughs> Um, and just give me this one. Maybe, maybe people will imagine what they would, what things yeah. look like. Yeah, and I think they can see there. Look, you can see it in the inside of there. Yep, that works. That way, that works perfect. I always get mixed up with these blooming cameras. What's back to front and front to back? If they're looking at me, or if I'm cross-eyed, or whatever. So it's it's always so much easier when you. You change cameras and it's just onto your hands. And then you can make proper faces and everything and nobody even cares. Okay. I'm just going to push that down so that I've got my two colours there. Now I've probably done too much red in this for what I want, but we'll come to it when I, when I need that one. But that was just to let you see... Um, what the coupler was and how to do that. So we don't need these just now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have some chocolate cupcakes today for a change and I need this. <laughs> Where are all the wee spatulas gone? I have no idea. I had. <laughs> do you know what? It's okay, I'll use this one. This is fine. I'll use this one. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's going to have green on it anyway, so, no, and, oh there, 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 look, oh, right. there, this, this is what I need. You're hidden behind your teacup. Yeah. <laughs> right, I need this chocolate butter from 
There's my gloves. I was meant to put my gloves on to <laughs> to put the red and the green inside the piping bag. Yeah. Oh well, I never. <laughs> Only because I, I actually had to go and wash myself five minutes ago because I had green piled all the way, green dye all the way up my arm. So, <laughs> well, this is going to be messy. It's not as neat as using the cream. How cool is this um, icing though? It's so, it oh sorry, sorry, thing. sorry, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Right, do you want me to go this way? That's it. Right, yeah. so let's move this over a wee bit then. It's just so that nobody's, nobody really needs to look inside that bowl. So, there we are. So, now, is this a black colour you've used? No, it's black cocoa. Sorry, excuse my arm reaching there. It's, um, it's black cocoa that I used. So, so I'm going to pipe a cactus. What I normally, when I'm teaching or um, when I'm doing a cupcake bouquet, for instance, I normally start off with the big flowers first and then I go on to doing all the, the little ones and the little sort of garden type looks. So I thought if I, if I do a whole cupcake that looks like a cactus, I'm just going to do a big mound of cream in the middle. This is a lot of buttercream, by the way. And then I need, not that one, not that one, I need this one. So I'm using a leaf tip here. This is a 352 leaf tip. And what I'm going to do is normally when we pipe leaves, we normally pipe them so that the the wee um the wee sort of beak bit maybe put that over onto that one so I can show um so that it's like it's like the beak and you pipe it like that okay with this though I'm actually going to turn it so it's almost like it's sideways and the reason being is that I want to I don't know if I can pipe this this way. I want to get, you see the line? And I want to bring them up to the middle. All the way round. Can you see this? You see what I'm doing here? And this is to make my flowering cactus. I'm kind of doing this back to front for you. <laughs> so I need to go in and fill in the gaps though. Like that. So what kind of week have you all had? What about the weather? Well I'm saying what about the weather, I don't know where you are. Um if you're in Scotland at the moment, I'm right, I'm just gonna quickly do this forward because otherwise We'll be here all day. Um, yeah, the weather at the minute is amazing. We've been doing... Oh, that's better. That's cool. We've been doing masses and masses and masses of work in our garden. Um, like a total... Oh, I've just done that side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done it again. Uh, no one will see that. Bit. No, nobody will see that bit. There's always a back. There's always a back to the cake. Oh, people much. won't know that's what cactuses are actually like at the back. No, no. Cactuses are always like that at the back. <laughs> they always just look like leaves. Need another little bit of green in here. Or in fact, no, it's okay, don't, don't panic. That's okay. I'll go. I'll just pop a squidge of cream in it and that'll force it. Oh, this is top tip. Tip top. There we are. And could bring that up. Oopsie daisy. Like that. This is a massive cactus, by the way. <laughs> Maybe a bit bigger than I had intended. Um, but on the top of that very large cactus, it's, it is a flowering cactus. So we need a little flower. So I've got a number 60 tip here. This is it's like a um, 
it's got like a little curvy end to it. Can you see with that one? Oops, a daisy. I always do this wrong. There you go. You can see the curve on the end of it. And all I'm going to do there is just pipe what like a little curve? petal. Um, the, the bottom, the fat end of the nozzle is to the bottom and the thin end is to the top. And it's just to give it a bit of cactus character. Cactus character. Yeah. I think this is a Scottish cactus. <laughs> Doesn't look like any cactus I've seen before. <laughs> Let's put a little star in the middle. There we go. That looks better. Okay, now the other thing we do need though for this lovely wee cactus. Just let me check that that's yep is it needs some wee spikes so i've just got this is actually cream i've got here for the spikes for no other reason but i had it so i thought i'll just i'll use that Right, you can't see Oops. very well for your piping bag. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I've moved the camera okay. just so we can see okay. what, you're, what, you've, what you've done. <laughs> Let me try. Oops. Let me try like this. Does this work? Can you see that? Yes. Let me take this one off. Oh, goodness me. That's better. Yeah, you can see that, okay. I'm going to see around the back of this cactus as well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Let's see. Well, actually, they think they are, but we'll probably switch cameras so they yeah. can. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, so let me just, I've got a wee blob in here. There we are. That's it. I actually think it's really quite cute. Oops. It looks like a Not cactus that one. now. Yeah, it's looking like a cactus now. Um, may I have a little bit of tissue or something like that, please? <coughs> If this oh, was... <laughs> was it all oh, for this, was it? <laughs> it was freaking my life. <laughs> if um, this was Royal Icing and I was trying to impress the King of Royal Icing, Michael Lewis Anderson, <laughs> then I would be very, very, very precise. But for buttercream cupcakes, I think it's effective enough. And I promise, Michael, I'll watch, tune in on Friday and I'll have a practice. Because he was moaning at me. <laughs> there we go. I think that was quite cute, actually. Yeah. Let me put it back on or we'll do that. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I quite like that. It is rather huge, but all together, it'll be cool. Right, so we'll lay that one over there. And then, oh, one that's... How cool is that? How cool is that? Now, I'm going to go a bit flowery kind of thing here with, again, a 104. Um, so it's a 104 petal tip. Um, and I've got pink in this. It's actually the Colour Mill Rose gives you this really nice, like, sort of pale pink. And I've used some eucalyptus with it. And this this flower should end up looking like this wee flower here. And it's called an Aeonium. Look at me doing the homework. Why don't you? Um, am I going to do that in the big size? No, I just want to do that in the wee size, I think. Let's see, let's see, let's have a wee bash, see how we get on. Back on with the, the lovely black. 
buttercream. That's the only thing, this gets everywhere. The smell of it is amazing though, isn't it? <laughs> Have you tasted it? Yeah. It just tastes like the chocolatey, the chocolatey, the most chocolatey, the most chocolateyest chocolate thing ever. So. Now I don't need this really, really smooth because we're kind of representing dirt here. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at the fact that you still probably should have put your glass on. <laughs> I know. I know. Let's just give this a wee. Let's move it round that way. Right, a wee minute. See it now. Okay. Okay, this one, can you see past these okay? You don't have these in the road. This one, we're going to pipe it like petals. So let the petals come through it. And then I'm starting the, um, I'm putting the nozzle underneath the last petal that I've piped. So that it's Like overlapping or underlapping, however we. Yep, that looks, that looks okay. Yeah. Like this, and you want a bit of movement in your petals, flower. Whoa, not that much. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to hold it. So what I'm going to do is the next time I've got I've got again the the bottom of the tip against the, the cupcake and the narrow bit, so the fat end at the bottom and the narrow bit at the top and then I'm, I'm actually going to do it up the way so that we can pipe it, whoops a daisy, come round just to try, I probably should have done this with a bigger tip actually this is nicer, I think the smaller ones are nicer so I'm going to do a small one They get the petals will stand up better on the small one. Oh my goodness me. Well, let's try this one. There we are. And up there. And up. So you see you're you're coming higher up every time. And then that's that one. I love these colours as well. It's nice <laughs> together, isn't it? Well, it's very right. different from like the usual, if you say, like a flower. Yeah. Well, to be fair, cactuses are kind of all... There's not an awful lot of difference. I, I, think, I think the biggest difference really is the colours of them. Right, I'm going to pipe a little one of that, but I'm piping it straight onto here. And then I'm going to leave it so I can put something else on beside it. I would have had this done, but because it's chocolate, it actually dries quite quickly as well, sets quite quickly. So I still need a sort of wet enough base for my, my um, icing to stick to. So I'm just going to put a wee one, a wee one of these onto the side of here. So again, just pipe the petals round. That's better, that's working better than that. Can you see this okay? Swing round a bit, yeah. How about that? If I sit That's sideways, does better. that work? Because you just know that people will be going, I can't see because of your piping bag. I know, I'm really sorry. It's very difficult. It's really difficult. <laughs> it's difficult, like it's all the lights, camera and action, remembering what you've got to say. <laughs> there we go, that's well, pretty. Stick to the script. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. That looks a bit cactusy. That looks lovely. Or a bit succulenty. Now I'm going to put this one to the side. And then I'm going to put that one back in there. Do another big one. A biggish one. Um, I need something to wipe my hands with, I'm sorry to tell you. My hands are <laughs> covered. Ta. Ta 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 ta. Thank you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank um, you. Although that's all the same colour, so I don't really want to do that just now. 
I'll do is I'll do the rose one that I was showing you this one. Earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll put it on to. Uh, I might do that onto a nail actually. Yeah, let's do this onto a pipe and nail. So I've just put a little squidge of my colour and I've got a little bit of parchment paper and I'm going to... Now, with this one, this is very, very like when we um, pipe roses. So, but it's, again, it's really the colour and uh, whatever that makes the difference of it. So this, this parchment is curling up. <laughs> I'll try it like that and see. So what you want is a bit in the middle and then to come round, let me just, uh, maybe I'll just try and get a wee bit more green involved here. Right, change the camera angle if you can. Any easier, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's just going to slide off. There we are. So I'm just piping, as, can you see past this, this parchment? I'm just piping it round like we've done a rose. So it's almost like not not massive arc shapes this time. I did have a wee bit too much of the raspberry in this. And then what I'm going to do for the outside of it, I think these are called... Um, Echeveria or something like that. So they are um, desert roses, I think they're called. I'll come round that way. Move that back so you can see. Yeah, there's not enough green in this for this particular flower. But I do think it's quite pretty in the the red. And that's that. You can you can kind of see the green. Let's try it. Let's try one that's straight onto the cake without the. Let's pop that onto the tray. And what I'll do is I'll use these. I'll put these onto the um, the cake that I'm making. I'm going to put them all together onto the cake. Um, that won't match that. Let's put it onto a different one. I'm not going to bother. Right. Let's see. Let's try this again. Because we can. We'll put some um, of the spiky cactus on beside this. There we are. And then we're going to just bring these leaves. Oh, that looks cool on there. That looks good, doesn't it? That looks really that, good. That's yeah. nice, I like that. It's better than it being flat, actually, isn't it? Uh -huh. And then what we're going to do beside this, then, since we're on to this bit, is we'll use some, um, I've got a star nozzle here, which is a number 21, I think. It's yeah. an, open, open, an star. open star. And I'm just going to put that in. Basically just give it a little, so if I do three, can you see these okay? Three in there. And then I'll maybe do that onto this one again, the same. So we'll put them in there and maybe just lift them a wee bit higher. In fact, this one could have one of these ones with the five spiky bits, can't it? Oops, sorry, I just looked up at the camera and never looked what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure of that. So that's that both of these are the same nozzle as you've just seen me do um but there's two slightly different effects with it and then what we need to do with it is i've got a little bit of raspberry oops I do in here and i'm just going to put a little raspberry top just wee edges oops i don't have a nozzle in this bag i've just I've just cut the bag a tiny little bit. These look like Christmas time. So we need a different colour in beside this now. 
Oops, a daisy. Goodness me. That's it. So then, we'll leave that one there. We need something else in beside this. So why don't we go for the green and yellow? Again, this is a leaf tip um, that we've got here. And it's the same um, idea. You actually pipe this as if you are piping leaves, though. So you've got your... Where's my cloth gone? Oh, wait a minute, I've dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Thank you. That's not the one oh. that was on the floor. No, 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 no. I don't think anybody will eat these anyway. Um, what was I going to say? You were on about the leaf nozzle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> leaf nozzle. Um, so you do you. You're going to pipe this one as if you are piping a leaf. So you've got the little um, beak sort of shape, um, and you're holding the the bottom bit. Uh, can you see that? Can you do that for me? Right, so this bit's against your cake this time. Okay, and all we're going to do is so pipe. You can bring it down so we can see. Yeah, it. of course. <coughs> Put it there. Just going to pipe some leaves in so here. You could go sitting sideways. Yeah. You could go side saddle. That's How about better. that? Is that okay? Yep, I think so. Yep, and then we can pipe that in. Like this. Oh, I just need to hide it under here, so I'm sorry I had to move my hand. And just bring these spikes up. Cool! There we go, we've got a little succulent garden going on in this Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Okay, we'll pop that one over there. And we'll have to do the same on this one. We don't have to do the same, but it'd be nice <laughs> to do the same. So I've got more room on this one actually, so let's do a bigger one. So we'll come back. So you're just piping and pulling it up. So squeeze and pull up. Just like this is just blending the, the yellow is blending in with the green. But it's quite a nice colour though as well. It gives um it means that the green's like a couple of different colours, which is quite cool. And um, pull that up. Pull it up. Sorry, I'm turning it. Um, let me try it that way. And that way. There we go. So, with this one, we've got two spiky ones going on. Um, so we need something flatter as well. We don't just want everything really um, spiky. So what can we fit in behind it? Um, what about some of these wee teeny ones? They'd be nice. So back to the green... Uh, where has it gone? Not that one, this one. We'll go back to that one. And I'm just going to pop a few... Oops. In there. Okay, if you can go side side up because we can't really see you. There we go. There we are. Okay, that'll fill that in nicely. And then... I wonder if I have a little star going on. Um, I thought I had it. Well, there's a wee one. I'm just going to change this and just take this little star one. It's just, it's a smaller nozzle, so. And this is the benefit of? This is the benefit of the couplers. Uh -huh. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's still too big, but it gives a nice wee bit of colour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. <laughs> That's really cute. What you could do, when you put the chocolate on the um, cupcakes, you could actually dip them in like vermicelli or something like that because then that's going to give a really nice kind of earth sort of idea. So we've got these ones. We've got one more and then we do something different. So last one. And what I'm going to do with this one is, I'm going to swap this out, get a piece of a piece of foil, and again, this is a leaf nozzle, but this is a big leaf. So this is a 366 leaf we've got here, and we're just going to pipe, so I've got half pink and half green 
um, and I want it I want to pipe it so that it hopefully comes out half and half and just pull it out now by setting it in here or by piping it in here it means that you're setting it slightly different and you can either if you're in a rush you can put them in the freezer and then you can add them on to the to the cake or cupcake whenever you need it pop that in and in there and um, it's funny actually I am um, I'm normally used to trying to work everything like really really delicate with flowers but my succulents they're not the, and the the finish and the edges of them should be smooth so you see that one so all I've done is pop that in a pudding basin with the foil and I'm just going to let that set the same as the the other one that I've got there okay I'll lay that to the side okay right I'm going to clear this little lot up a bit um, and I'm going to get my cake over and I'm going to then put the rest of the um, stuff that I've piped and I'll pipe a little bit more onto the cake um, and then that's, that's about it really. So I'll see you back here after the break. Okay, remember and come back. Master program. Hey, welcome back. So what we're doing now is we're going to put the succulents that we piped onto the parchment paper. Um, I'm going to lift them and I'm going to put them onto the top of the cake, she thinks. Um, I've gone ahead and I've just piped a little bit of green onto the top of the cake. It's, a, it's, a, bit of, it's a bit of a rough um, semi-naked cake, but you get the idea of it. Let's just put some more of this colour in here. It's just going to help just to stick our flowers onto our, our, our succulents, flowers, plants. Well, they're a bit of both. What are they? Yeah. Not sure. And for anyone who's missed what you done what you did earlier, what anybody missed what I've done earlier is I've been piping succulents onto cupcakes um, and onto parchment paper. So I'm going to now lift the ones that I've piped onto the parchment paper up onto the cake, we hope. I don't know if this will be set enough to actually do this, but no, this one's too wobbly. I'll not do that one. This one I had set earlier, so this should peel off. Yay! Now, these haven't been in the freezer. They've just been on, um, just sitting on here actually. So, we just want a little variation of the different style. Oh, that's going to collapse. Come on, come on, come on. Oh just, my goodness. Just take that one off. Just no, take that do you know, one off. Do you know what? What would be easier doing? Just piping one the same. Okay, that's another so, frame when it wasn't there before. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to pipe it on because I think that's easier. There we are. 
It just gives us a little bit of height there. Oops, go back in there. Oops, there we are. And then we need a little bit of raspberry. Where's my raspberry? There we are. Raspberry colour it is, not raspberry flavour. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's see if the other ones have set. Um, let's see this one here. There we go. Now, sometimes I actually put these in the freezer to let them just firm up before I'm using them. Is there another little spatula there? Yeah, that'll do fine. Perfect. I can just slide that off. There we are. You can get little scissors. I need to get some little scissors because these are actually all very soft. But it gives you a nice idea of how they can go onto the cake. Pop that one in there. This, this kind of cake is really good um, if somebody's struggling for a man, for a man's birthday, often like they don't want... Pop that in there, that one. And then we can have some of these wee toty ones in there as well. Oops, a daisy. Come on. We'll pop them in there. Let me just scrape this off. Pick them up. That's it. There we go. You were saying a man. Yeah. Um, yeah, like for. It's not too girly. Yeah. yeah. It's not too, too. Well, I don't think it's too girly. Um, I quite like it. It just looks like a proper little crazy old garden going on, doesn't it? Wonder if that one will work. Well, this one will work. Here we've got a little baby cactus that will work on there. Lovely. Right. I don't think I put very much more on that because. You're in danger of it ending up looking like a Christmas tree. So maybe just a couple of little extra, maybe like a couple of wee leaves and things in. You can go side to, on as well. <laughs> sorry. You go side Sorry, side right, there right go. in there. Yeah. Okay. So will just do a couple of these. Um, a couple more maybe. And I say, you don't really want them to be... That's better. That's nice with the, the wee burst of green in there, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. You can pretend you're in the desert. You can pretend that you got to Vegas. <laughs> so I hope lockdown's gone well for everybody. We'll all be at various different stages of coming out of it, um, yeah, at least one thing I managed to do is colour my hair. I was a wee bit like, you know, you, you um, see the rings on a tree and you know like the age of the tree because of, like the rings on the tree, you would have been able to tell how long I'd been in lockdown with my roots. Honestly, it was like rings of roots coming down, hilarious. So, right, I don't think I'm going to do any more to that. I think I'm going to leave that like that. I think that looks enough. Um, so, we're going to have a teeny weeny weeny break now. Um, I'm going to kind of clear all this mess up and I'm going to put everything together just to let you see what it could look like um, to present it someday. Um, and I'll let you know what I'm doing next week. Okay, see you in a second.
again. So final little roundup of what we've been doing. Um, I have piped lots and lots of, well it seems like lots and lots, um, of succulents onto cupcakes and I've also put them onto the um, cakes, onto a cake rather. Um, what I will do is, I've gone over the nozzles and everything that I've used um, as I was going along, but I will post them up. Um, I'll put them onto my Bakehouse Bites page. It's, it's probably the easiest. Um, if there's any questions, then please contact me. Um, now, you can either get me on my Angela Cakes page on Facebook, um, or you can get me on the Bakehouse Bites page, and this is the logo for that, so dead easy to find it. Um, I will be around answer, answering your questions today though, um, so fire away and if I know the answers then I'll certainly give you them. Um, if you can't find me on any of these places, walk down the street and you'll just bump into me and you'll, you'll find somebody will know me, so it'll be easy. Um, what I'm going to do now is put the um, cakes together um, just to show you like a, a different way of maybe presenting that Cupcakes don't always have to be in a cupcake bouquet, um, well, on my behalf anyway, um, or just in a box or whatever. They are pretty cute in a box to be fair. I'm going to move this one over and then let's see, do you want to just switch that so they can see the, the effect of them? They look like wee gardens, little succulent gardens. I think they look really happy. <laughs> Alan was just asking if we're going to have Mexican for dinner. So, and then that's it on the cake. I have to say, this looks, it doesn't look as great um, close up the cake. But I think it looks really nice when it's like oh, that. It's lovely. I like it. it. Really effective. I like and it a lot. And it's different. Yeah, I really like it. And that's what people are looking for. Yeah. So, I, I buy loads of stuff. Um, and one of the things that I went through a phase of buying like is baskets and boxes and stuff like that. So I really like these. Let's hope that these aren't going to be too soft to sit in here. But just as, just a different little way of presenting them. I'll pop that one in there. Let's make sure that'll fit. Oh, come on. Let's put it in. That's cute. That'll do. That one takes through quite nicely. That round there. And I'll put the other one in the other one. The other one in the other one. You know what I mean. Do you know, we had such a, a lovely week. Um, a real kind of acts of kindness week. It was just so nice. Um, we've not been in this village very long. We've only been here a year. And we live in a, a crazy mad house in the village, right on the main road. And I had seen um, one of one of my cake friends, I'm seeing cake friends, I've never met the lady, but we are really good friends. Um, Jules Johnson had a lot of um, rainbow plant pots um, that I'd seen on Facebook. And I thought, oh, I quite like these. So I planted a whole lot of these... Um, got a whole lot of the, the rainbow plant pots, put sunflowers on them and we've got them out on our front steps and one night I, we got a little letter, a yeah our, we've got kind of like double steps like this at the front of the house um, and one night during the week we got a, a note through the door from two little girls saying um, your, your rainbow pots make us happy I was like, how nice is that that they even bothered to, like, take time just to, you know, say, there you go, like, you've, you've done something. So it was really lovely, wasn't it? And you, so, you, you posted it. Yeah, yeah, page. I put it on the, yeah. You can make, like, four million cakes and post them up on a page. And put, I, would, I often put things on the local page and people will like them and they'll share them and so on. And I put this up and there was, like, maybe 300 people. <laughs> <laughs> the other people commented. Yeah, that's a really so nice I think promise. I'm just going to go and do garden DIY or something instead. <laughs> anyway, right, I've put these together. I think that looks really nice together. Imagine that at a party. If these, like, if you had them all in, like, 
let me just see if I can do that. There we are. Like if they were round the cake at a party or, you know, whatever. I just think they'd look amazing. I love them. Very good. So, yeah. next week, I'm going to carry on with the succulents theme. Um, but they're going to be, it's going to be a wee bit more grown up. Um, my lovely friend Michelle Pattinson done an amazing um, concrete effect cake with succulents on it. So with Misha's permission, and I promise I'll contact her during the week, um, I'm going to try and replicate similar, something similar. But I really want to do um, concrete buttercream uh, for a change and put some giant succulents on it. Pipes. So that it's piped, uh, piped succulents, giant ones on it, um, just so that they it just like stands out, just something totally different. So, right, I think that's me done for the day. Um, I shall hopefully hear from you during the week. Um, as I say, any questions or anything, just contact me. Um, stay tuned to Kate Flix TV to all the amazing artists that have been on this week and still to come this week. Um, it's just so fab. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, do that and I'll see you back here at 11 o'clock next Thursday morning with my concrete buttercream. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye now.